why don't you talk about some some tips for Amazon fishermen? Tips. Yeah, Amazon. like what type of gear should they bring? Casting techniques. Oh jeez. What to expect? Just uh, rattle some shit off the top of your head. Okay. Whatever. Now it's good. Now it's good. Well, if you bring the wrong stuff to the Amazon, then you know the the Amazon will kill you because you either bring too light or you bring too heavy. You got to kind of do a medium to medium light out sorry medium to medium heavy out, outfits 50 pound line minimum i mean 50 pound thinks you think that's overkill but man these fish will snap that in a heartbeat and yeah you could have an array of uh, jigs we make our own jigs here so we sell those but you gotta have enough lures to be able to diversify from top to bottom to middle water levels and just be prepared you know expect the unexpected and on the jigs, how many and what type of jigs do you recommend? I'm saying using our Stevie Stinger jigs, of course, because we sell them, but uh, we designed these jigs years ago and I won two world championships with them. So, yeah, I sent my heart on that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I would recommend 25 a person, minimum 25. Did you either lose them or they get eaten up by the piranhas? Well, I mean, they get done by the piranhas. I mean, look at the state of that. That was a jig with a tail I mean all of these all smashed up I mean look at these look at this that's a good one that's oh, all yeah. hammered to bits yeah the the piranhas here are relentless absolutely relentless you know I me mean, look they just snip off the tails yeah they're little bastards uh, what about top waters what do you what do you recommend on the top waters top waters I'm suggesting you use prop baits some good prop baits uh, spook type baits as well for walking baits uh, poppers don't work so well here um, but if you can get a popper to walk the dog and with the odd pop inside of it that normally is a, a killer um, we have a thing called a perverser which I've been using all day yesterday it's, and that's a Brazilian uh, that's a Brazilian but only Brazilian we call a lure perverser uh, we got a prop bait here this is one made by Kermit Adams from K Lures these are excellent lures when the fish yeah. are on these are really on and you got to have kind of walking baits like this something like this jumping minnow or similar all these baits and then anything in between you know jigs uh, minnow jerk baits glide baits all this kind of stuff and uh, talk about fly fishing and I caught a bunch on fly yeah fly fishing is good you probably get more fish uh, on fly than you would on conventional gear purely because the fly stays in the in the strike zone longer but I mean it's, it's a good overall uh, way to catch a lot of fish a lot of small fish but you will in the middle of those small fish you get some big ones yeah, I, I brought two eight weights what else should somebody bring for fly fishing uh, maybe a nine I wouldn't go any heavier than that because you, you you know anything heavier than nine you're casting that all day long your arms gonna drop off you know you're talking about fairly big flies and they're wet you got a sinking tip sometimes you know, that's a heavy rig to, to cast all day long. My ideal one would be eight, probably, uh, yeah, eight weight, I reckon. Eight weight, nine foot, uh, eight foot, six, something like that, with um, floating line, tropical floating line, because otherwise it'll go all mushy. So you've got to get a tropical line. And six foot of fluoro, 50 pound fluoro, straight onto the fly. And uh, I know you guys tie the FJ knot. Can you explain why the FJ and not like a double uni or some FG? of the other? FG. The FG knot. Well, the FG knot is really, really simple to do if you've done it a few hundred times, but it's very smooth. And this is an FG knot. And that goes right through all the guides, including the, all very, the guys. very, very tip with not impacting the casting. Nothing, nothing at all. I always like leaving a bit of a yeah. tag in just because I like to see it. But yeah. that is, I haven't, I haven't retied any of these four that I've got here this week. This is my second trip with you, Steve, um, and I've had a lot of fun. But and I've been to Brazil many, many times over the years. But what do you tell people who are first time? fishermen in the Amazon or they've never been to Brazil expect the unexpected you'd be catching little fish all day long and then suddenly bang, you'll just get one big fish will take you to the cleaners you know you got to be prepared you have to be prepared for at all for all elements rain sun wind everything you got to just adapt to it and in the middle of these fish you can have one massive fish 
So, you know, again, expect, un expect the unexpected because it can happen any time. Just got to be prepared. Well, you heard that straight from the horse's mouth, Steve Townsend, AmazonAngler.com. Good guy. All right, thank you. Yeah, cheers.